Hello everybody, I'm Jay Appel. Back in the lab we are today talking about a brand new feature from ePolicy Orchestrator version 510. This is the new approval feature. I'm going to make it nice and simple for you. When you look at the guide, they it it it's okay, but it doesn't it's not like seeing it, and that's what we're going to do today. Imagine if you would, you've made a mistake. I know you make mistakes all the time. Anyway, this is one of those things that somebody would really notice if you got it wrong. So now the EPO administrator is under the magnifying glass. There is now a new permission set that you can create to have someone who is going to specifically approve your tasks or approve your policies, even the administrator. Here's how we're going to do it. Ready? So sit next to your lab machine. Let's do it together and you can pause the video as you need to. We're going to select menu and we're going to go down to user management and select permission sets. Everybody still with me? Good, because if I lost you by this point, wait until we get going here. New permission set. Let's select that and we're going to enter policy and task approver. Very simple. Now, giving you a little glimpse over to my domain controller, you'll notice here that I have a group called EPO underscore policy underscore approvers. Technically, it would be policy and task approvers, but you get the idea. Now, I'm going to double click here and you'll notice here that I have under members me. So I'm going to get to do, but I have to be logged in to EPO as me using an Active Directory logon which is a totally different topic for another video. Click OK. Meanwhile, back over in EPO, we're going to continue with selecting Add and choosing the group that I just showed you called the EPO Policy Approvers. This is kind of nice because using Active Directory to leverage your security in the event that somebody leaves or you want to add somebody as a backup to the person who's already doing the approval process. You might want a couple of people in case somebody gets sick or go on vacation. Select Save. Great. So the policy and task approver, the base permission set is in place, but we have to do quite a few things here. Number one, as we make our way down the list, we have client task management. Select Edit and choose Approver Permission. Now, I want to caution you on something. You see this little hyperlink that they put here? All looks kind of cool and everything, except don't click it. If you click it, you're going to leave this task approval that you've configured and it won't save automatically. I'm going to select it and say save because I want to save it. We'll go to the approval piece afterwards. Let's get through the permission set first. So don't get you know, go off into other directions. Otherwise, you'll not do this properly. Product number one. Drive encryption. Sure. Select edit, change and view policy settings. Select save. So far, pretty easy, Stevie. Now down here, we'll do go and then we'll do the McAfee agent. Select it again, select save. As we go down to the McAfee agent, of course, we could do ENS, we could do any of the other products. And I encourage you to examine what products you have because you're going to want to make sure that you configure this so it's comprehensive. Now, in terms of the McAfee agent, we have a policy and we have a task. So we will select full approval here and select save. Okay, one last thing. We did the client task management, but we didn't do the policy management. We're going to go in here and we'll select that. Approver permissions. Great. Again, don't go to the hyperlink because it won't save. Now, over to server settings we go. I have it up here in my recent pages, or you could go down to configuration server settings. And we have a category called approval. Now, over here on the lower right-hand corner is an Edit button. Go ahead and click it. In here, you're going to select Users Need Approval for Policy Changes. Users Need Approval for Client Changes. Administrator Approver Needs approval, approval as well. Easy for me to say. And we'll do the same thing for Tasks. 
select save. All right, let's give it a whirl. So now that that's all configured, and if you're thinking, hey, listen, well, you know, the admin could go in there and change this anytime. Yeah, but it's going to go to the audit log, and if he messes up or she messes up, it's going to be a problem. Okay, so we head over here to the policy catalog, and I'm going to choose the McAfee agent. Go to general, and I have this my default J I'm going to pick on. And I'm going to change this policy interval to, let's just say, 90 minutes. And down here in the lower right-hand corner is your immediate indication that we've configured it properly because it says submit for review. What's my comment? Approve this for 90 minute interval. Did I spell that right? Probably not. There we go. This is policy enforcement. Now, you know as well as I do, most admins are going to go, I just want uh, Jay to approve this, and I'm not going to put anything in here, which is fine. Submit for review, because I'm going to have to look at it anyhow. Now, I'm going to log out. And I'm going to log in as Jay from my domain. And you'll notice up here in the right hand upper corner is a bell. I'm going to click on it. Policy submitted for approval. Policy my default J is submitted for user admin for approval. View details. Love to. There's the policy. I'm going to select it. Comment. Approve this. You know, basically just do it. It says here, in section general, the setting policy enforcement interval was changed from 30 to 90 minutes. Now, we're just having fun here. I could approve it, or I'm going to say reject and say no. Reject. Okay. So I'm going to log off. Log back on as the admin. And you'll notice up here, I have a couple things. Policy rejected, policy approved. I have been doing a couple things in here, haven't I? Let's go over here and view the details. Well, is Jay being a jerk today? Let's look at the history for my default Jay. No, 5-3, that today is May 3rd. Everything is all documented here. You can see what happened. And I gave a very comprehensive answer, no. So I would have to probably pick up the phone and yell at Jay. And that's how this feature works. It's kind of cool when you use it. Certainly test it out in your environment if you go through your normal testing configuration. That's it from here. I'm Jay Appel. Have a terrific day.